Hello and welcome to History Speaks, sponsored by Pepto-Bismol and Dr. Cola. Remember, we're talking about a world where people only have sex for pleasure and not for reproduction. In fact, I mean, think about what that means. No mothers and fathers, no parents, no marriages, no husbands and wives. What would that do to a society? All right, fine. If you guys don't want to talk about it, you're going to write about it. Remember, you've got to give me three pages of commentary on Brave New World. And guys, this is a really interesting book. Three pages, all I'm asking is you just show me that you're thinking. I can show I'm thinking in one page. I'm not thinking, so I don't need any pages to show that. Guys, come on, quit your complaining, it's just three pages. I mean, that's just one paper, I have to, I have to read 20 of them. Just don't assign the paper, Mr. Um... Clark. Mr. Clark, then you won't have to grade them and we can just pretend it happened. You know, those of us with lives can actually, like, live them. Now, we've all heard this argument before. No work for them, no work for me. Makes sense, right? Logical. Well, in the past, my integrity and genuine interest in education precluded me from humoring this remark. But in this particular day, I was quite uninspired. I decided to humor it. No classwork at all for you guys? It wouldn't work. With no work to keep you accountable, you all would be wandering the hallways, smoking grass, and the vice principal would come in here in two days and shut it down. No, Mr. Clark, for the opportunity to do nothing, we would all agree to be quiet and stay in the classroom. I would do anything to do nothing. Okay, great, but what about your parents? You know, surely they would notice that you hadn't written anything for English all semester. Well, I mean, we can fool them guys, right? I mean, think of all the other stuff we had from them. My dad thinks I take karate lessons on Tuesday. My mom thinks that I'm a virgin. My mom thinks I'm taking the SAT right now. Okay, you can fool the vice principal and you can fool your parents. But what about yourselves? I mean, don't you want to learn? And what about your curiosity? This is a really good class. We read great books like Thoreau and Saki and Herman Hesse. I mean, wouldn't you get bored? No offense, Mr. Clark, but I wasn't really going to read any of those books anyway. I can't even name one book we've read this semester. I've never read a book. Were we going to drink sake? Sake! All right, what about you, Ellen? I mean, I know you love Song of Solomon, right? Sorry, Mr. Clark. I've never read a single page of Song of Solomon. In fact, I've never read any of the books for my classes. I've just become really good at taking stuff off the internet and making it my own. It's an underrated art, really. Well, that did it. Even Ellen. All of her smiles and nods when I pointed out the ironic parts, all of that was faked. I decided I'd just go ahead and quit. But before I did it, I figured I would give them the nothing that they asked for. All right, you guys don't want to learn, and you don't want to think, fine. From now on, I'm not going to make any more effort to have you think or learn anything. You can all just stay as ignorant as you are right now. that there will be no work or learning done in this classroom. All students will get the same grade in English as they got last year, with the exception of David, Julia, Cindy, and myself, who will all get a grade higher. 
Cody will pass with a D. My first D? Oh, to ensure that our rights to do and learn nothing are protected, we must all work together to keep this class a secret. Therefore, cut other classes where you actually have to do stuff. While in class, you must always pretend to be working. To do this, have a pen or a pencil or a book in front of you. You don't actually have to read or write anything. If asked what we are studying by teacher, student, or friend, the answer is romanticism. Repeat after me, romanticism. Romanticism. At first it was basically just a study hall. About half the kids were doing homework for other classes. The other half was looking at their phones. But after a little while, I noticed something was starting to happen. They were getting bored. Mr. Clark, I'm bored. I've spent 35 hours on Snapchat this week and I can't take it anymore. I want to write a story. What should I write about? Why don't you write about a kid who's sitting in a room doing nothing? Okay, Dave. I'm bored. Here, this book's pretty good. <laughs> Tortilla flat. My mom is asking me a lot of questions about what we're learning. I need more specifics. Well, maybe you should look up a college lit syllabus online and just get some readings and assignments out of that. Mr. Clark, I can't sit still anymore. I have ADD, you know. Yeah, no kidding. Look, you asked for nothing, all right? So this is nothing. Doing nothing's harder than I thought. Cody, do you know what meditation is? No, not really. You know how people have been asking you to think about things and do things all your life? Yeah, I hate that. Well, I want you to think about nothing, but really think about nothing. That's easy. It's not as easy as you might think. It's actually very difficult. So get yourself in a comfortable position and think no thoughts. And if any thought shows up, you just let it go and just keep letting them go. I think I'm gonna work harder at doing nothing than I've ever worked on anything before. Because I didn't care about them anymore, they started to care about my opinions. Hey, uh, Clark, got any other books that are, um, poignant, like this one? Why don't you get Dharma Bums? It's over there on that shelf. This syllabus is talking a lot about Lord Byron. Do you have any more of this Lord stuff? Yeah, I've got a Byron book over there on, on that shelf over there. Maybe he should quit his job. I think it would be too soon for him to do that, you know, because he really does love Sam. And if you write him more conflicted at this part, it will help you later when he confesses. That's a great idea. Hey, Cody. How's it going? Everything just repeats. So much so that it feels like no time is passing at all. The world is strikingly colorful. Mr. Clark, you got anything else for me? Um, sure, Charlie. But you might Mr. like. Mr. Clark, how would Sam or find or out about the pirate? What are you doing? Hey, 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 stop it! Hey, guys, that's enough. Would well, you want me to go back and start teaching again? All right, fine. Then you just have to figure this stuff out on your own. Hey, Kurt. How's it going? Hey, Cody. Hey, Mr. Clark. Hey, Mr. Clark. I've got some really good ideas for today. 
great, Sarah. Hey, Mr. Clark. Hey, Ellen. Mr. Clark. This one blew my mind. All right, Charlie. This is a good one. Oh.